Hello and welcome. In this video lesson, you will learn about the use of the compass within CATIA V5. So let's get started. The compass is a general purpose view and object manipulation tool. Most of the time, you do not actually need to use it because its functions are available using other methods. However, for many operations, it is the fastest and most efficient way to go. The compass gives you a handy and quick way to rotate or pan the display in the graphics window. This does not affect the actual position of any geometry, just the viewpoint you use to look at the geometry. In most applications, the compass has two basic uses, manipulating the view and translating or rotating geometric objects. The compass consists of four common elements. The translation handles let you move the view or some selected geometry along the compass axis X, Y, Z. You can pan the view by clicking and dragging any of the translation handles. The rotation handles let you rotate the view or some selected geometry about the compass axis X, Y, Z. You can rotate the view about an axis using the rotation handles. The free rotation handle lets you rotate the view or object freely in space. The free rotation handle works much like a virtual space ball. The compass manipulation handle is what you use to move the compass onto an object before you reposition the object. In most cases in part design, all geometry is constrained or somehow related to the absolute origin. You cannot manipulate this geometry using the compass, but you can move isolated geometry or geometry imported from CATIA V4 with the compass. You can also move assembly components before you apply constraints to them. Let us demonstrate some important operations that can be accomplished using the compass. Operation number one, rotating the view using the free rotation handle. If the compass is not visible, select view, compass to display it. Move the cursor over the free rotation handle on the compass. Click, hold and drag the cursor to rotate the model as shown on the screen. Operation number two, panning orthogonal views using the translation handles. Move the cursor over one of the translation axes on the compass. CATIA highlights it. Click, hold and then drag the cursor to translate the model, as shown on the screen. Operation number three. Rotating orthogonal views using the rotation handles. Move the cursor over one of the rotation handles on the compass. CATIA highlights it. Click, hold and then drag the cursor to rotate the model as shown. Operation number four, viewing along an axis. Move the cursor over one of the axis letters X, Y or Z. CATIA highlights the letter. Click the letter and the view changes. You are viewing along the identified axis. Click the same letter again. The view reverses to look in the opposite direction along the axis. Operation number five, manipulating the object using the compass. Move the cursor over the compass manipulation handle and click and hold. Drag the compass over the object you want to move. CATIA displays a preview of the new compass orientation. Release the left mouse button to place the compass on the object. CATIA selects it and any parent objects. In the graphics window or specification tree, select any additional objects you want to reposition. Drag the compass rotation or translation handles to reposition the objects. You can do the same thing if you right click on the compass and select edit from the pop-up menu to define a new position from the parameters for compass manipulation dialog. Drag the compass manipulation handle onto the absolute axis in the lower right corner of the graphics window. CATIA restores the default compass location and orientation. 
If you right click any of the compass elements, a pop up menu displays. Select Lock Current Orientation to prevent the compass from changing its orientation when you drag it onto an object. Lock Privileged Plane Orientation Parallel to Screen orients and locks the compass to the screen plane. This is most useful when using the compass to orient the view because there are very few instances when you would want to move an object relative to the arbitrary orientation of the screen. With Snap automatically to selected object active, you do not need to drag the compass manipulation handle to move the compass. Anytime you select an object, the compass automatically attaches itself to that object. If you use the compass to manipulate objects often, this option can be useful. Now, let us have a look on parameters for compass manipulation dialog. To display this dialog, move the compass to the object that you want to reposition. Right-click any of the compass elements, and from the pop-up menu, select Edit. The Reference option identifies the axis system you want to reference for your coordinates. You can choose Absolute or Active Axis System for the object. When you position the compass on an object, its current coordinates and rotation angles relative to the identified reference display in the Position and Angle text boxes. You can change any of these and click Apply to move the compass. You can enter a value of translation increment in any of the translation text boxes. Then click the respective arrow button to increase or decrease the amount entered. Click the up and down yellow arrows to perform the translation specified in the text boxes in the positive or negative direction. Click the eraser icon to reset all values in the text boxes to zero. Enter a value of rotation increment in the angle text box. Then click the arrow button corresponding to the axis about which you want to rotate the compass. Click the yellow arrows to perform the rotation specified in the text boxes in the positive or negative direction. Click Distance and select two objects. Katia enters the exact distance between them into the Distance text box. It also stores the relative direction. Click the arrow buttons next to the Distance text box to move the compass over the measured direction and distance. This is useful if you want to reposition an object back to a specific location. Click the yellow arrows to the right of distance text box to perform the translation along the positive or negative computed distance. Finally, the angle text box. This works like measure distance, except you can only use it on a single axis of rotation. Click the icon to the right of angle text box to perform the rotation around the computed axis in the positive or negative direction. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.